and Smoke has gone a roll to his right, he can run. Foots after him, he missed him. Smoker down to the one. He's to the one, the clock is running. Seven seconds. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Smoker spikes the ball, and the clock had stopped. The clock had stopped at one. They stopped the clock Jim. They stopped the clock, when they shouldn't have. Jim that clock should have run out. That's unbelievable. Is this home cooking, or what? Larry Bielert, the ex-coach at MSU and the color commentator from radio just put his hands up with that sheepish grin. That's unbelievable. That's criminal. Watch out hey good. Watch out. Okay they are over there. Okay, in the shotgun, smoker from the two, he's going to snap the ball. Oh, look at Larry Stevens. Larry Stevens being held, the pass into the end zone caught for a touchdown by Duckett. Unbelievable. Thievery. Jim, this game was stolen from the Michigan Wolverines. The clock should have run out when Smoker spiked the ball. He had no time left. They stopped the clock with a second to go before he threw it. Larry Stevens was nearly undressed on the pass rush on the final play. And Smoker heaved it up into the end zone where Duckett caught it for the game winning touchdown. Unbelievable. Michigan State wins. It'll go in the books as a Spartan victory. And it's a shame that such a great football game had to be finished with what will be some bitter feelings on the side of the maize and blue. I've done Michigan football for 21 years. And I can tell you my friends, I've never ever, ever, seen a team robbed in a football game like this one was today. But the Spartans get the victory, 26-24. There have been a lot of controversial ones, in this series. Last year in Ann Arbor there was the controversial fumble by Duckett. In the past there was the controversial two-point conversion try by Michigan. And this one, unreal.